Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida. And today I want to take you on a tour of one of the brand new 2019 Coachman Catalinas. This is a 243 RBS Legacy Edition. It's one of our best-selling uh, models. So uh, let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our tour uh, here on the inside. Now this is a 2019 Coachman Catalina 243 RBS and this is the Legacy Edition. Now this particular one we're going through is stock number 10458. Uh, but I'll say this, we're going to be using this video for all the 243 models that I get through the year because this is pretty much equipped like any other 243 that I bring in. We bring in uh, pretty much the same option set on all of ours, which is virtually loaded with everything that you can get on one. And especially in the Legacy Edition, it's going to come loaded anyway, but we still do add any available options with the exception of the... 30 pound LP gas tanks, which I'll explain when we're on the outside. Uh, the 243 RBS is by far one of our most popular floor plans because it hits a really sweet spot in the, it's, it's, it, and it's not too long, it's, it's uh, not too heavy, but yet even though it's a, a kind of a smaller, easy to tow package, it's still really roomy. So this comes in at an overall length of 27 foot 11 inches. Now that's from the ball to the back bumper. That's the overall length. It's a 24 foot floor plan. It has one slide out and this has an empty weight of about 5,700 pounds. I think it's 5,760 pounds or 62 pounds is the empty weight. So that's going to be very easily towed by almost all half ton pickup trucks and some smaller uh, pickup trucks and SUVs. So that's part of the reason it's very uh, it's a very popular floor plan. And as you'll see, it's just really laid out really well for the size of the trailer. Um, what we'll do is go ahead and start our tour in the very front of the trailer. And what we have up here is our queen bedroom. Um, so up here we have our queen bedroom. Now the 2019s have just switched over to a new cabinetry color called salvaged oak. And it's a really nice light driftwood kind of a color. It reminds me of a beach home type of a look. I think that's kind of uh, what they were sort of going for is uh, that I think being here in Florida, it feels kind of beachy to me. But up here we have uh, with, with the Legacy Editions, we have the enclosed cabinetry up above the bed. Uh, we've got our foam mattress, which uh, is, a, is a, a good firm mattress. It, some say it's, it's hard. Um, but what's nice about a firm mattress is it does offer really good support and you can go and get a three inch memory foam topper, put it on here and they are super comfortable. So if you like a firm bed, you're good to go right out of the gate. If you like a softer bed, don't worry about replacing it. Just go put your topper on it and it'll be really comfortable. I've had a lot of customers that have done that and I've actually felt quite a few of them when they come, I bought them back or had them back on consignment. And when you go ahead and put the, um, uh, the topper on, they become very comfortable. Um, so I do definitely think it's a nice upgrade having the foam mattress because it, it offers more support than an inexpensive uh, uh, an inexpensive inner spring. Now under here we have storage underneath the bed and actually I just noticed that um, we had not removed the um, the bar stools so this has bar stools that go in the kitchen but we have storage under the bed there and we've got two windows here we got a fire escape window on this side and a normal window over there we've got hanging storage in these cabinets and uh, you have uh, electrical outlets on either side of the bed for charging items or having a, uh, a uh, 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 alarm clock. And we also have area over here in the corner blocking behind the wall in this area to have a television set. So you can put a, a mount right in this area. You've got your antenna and your electrical hookups here for television. Um, now these are the bar stools and they go right in this area right here. Of course, there's two of them. That's just one of them right now. Uh, we have this new color of Congolium vinyl floor that goes throughout the whole trailer with the exception of the carpet and the slide-out area. It's the only carpet in the trailer. 
and this carpet in the slide out area is kind of necessary and even this little bit that is between uh, here this part that's on the floor here not the actual slide out this helps dramatically in protecting the floor when you operate the slide out if you had a little bit of debris or something like that that you missed a small rock or a screw or nail something like that it, without that little bit of carpet you run a far bigger risk of having uh, the slide out drag across the floor and damage the uh, flooring so that is a really good safety measure in uh, in keeping this floor in good shape this is a very high quality vinyl floor they wear great Congolium of course is a top name brand and the, the, the color choice blends super nice with the new cabinetry color uh, over here they've kind of redesigned the entertainment system for this year as well. We now have an upgraded Furion uh, electric fireplace and uh, in the past we had a simulated stone surround around this but now they've gone to a more sleek modern type of look. We've just got the glass front uh, on the fireplace. Now these of course do produce heat so when it's cold out, you can do a very good job of, of pretty much heating this whole trailer with this uh, heater. Um, the only caveat to that is that it's not ducted, so if you need to get heat into the bedroom, it can be a challenge to get the air moved in there, but a small fan will push the heat in there, and uh, outside of the lack of a duct to get the heat in there, you could heat this whole trailer in pretty chilly weather with these. They do a very, very good job. You, of course, have an LP gas furnace as well, and that is the floor ducts that you see right here. And this does include a heated enclosed underbelly. So one leg of the furnace goes into the belly of the trailer, which will help circulate heat underneath the floor and keep uh, your tanks from freezing as easily. It's not a full winterization, but it does help. Uh, up above the, um, we got some shelving or cabinetry below. Then up above that, we have uh, our, an upgraded Furion stereo for this year. Now this is also your DVD player. So you have a DVD player, CD capability, dual zones on your speakers, one zone for the inside, one zone for the outside, uh, and this will uh, also do Bluetooth. So you can pair your phone with it and you've got wireless music. Uh, you'd be out on the porch and uh, listening to the speakers out there, controlling your music with your phone, and uh, no need to come inside. Uh, and they now have, instead of this, I think I just mentioned a second ago, ceiling speakers, that's old habit that's gonna die hard. Instead of ceiling speakers, they have now dropped the speakers down here to more of a stereo arrangement on either side of the, um, of the head unit. And this actually, I think, sounds better. Uh, it's a more, um, it's a more proper way to have a stereo image um, when, you're, when you're watching television or listening to music. So I think that's a really nice upgrade. Furion is a really great brand. I was just at their headquarters here in the United States a few days ago. They are just a top-notch company, really great people, and really top-notch uh, electronics. Um, so we got the Furion here, the Furion here, and then we have a Sansui television. This is on a, sp um, uh, um, a swing arm bracket, so you can manipulate this to wherever you want it. We have it set up so that the output of whatever's playing on the television screen here comes through an auxiliary um, input on here so that basically anything you're watching, you can get the stereo sound to come out this, so you're not relying upon the uh, internal television speakers, which if you have any flat screen television, almost all of them are a bit anemic when it comes to the quality of the sound. This is a much better quality sound here. So we set that up for you. And you also, of course, have the DVD output into that television. Up above, we have some more storage. Over uh, on the side, we have storage. Uh, in here and you can put to be great for DVDs or stuff like that also they have enlarged this hole slightly for this year it's mainly in the, uh, the the amount of overhang of this we have but you can now fit up to a 40 inch television not all 40 inch televisions will fit but most 
39 and 40 inch televisions would fit in, fit in here. So if you ever did want to upgrade, you could, um, you could put a larger television in here. You could always repurpose this one, use it in the bedroom or out on the, the patio, something like that. So um, you've got a really great mount behind the television and uh, just you know, kind of let you know you can go to a little bit bigger TV there. Now coming over to the uh, furniture area, we have our flip-flop jackknife style sofa here. This is appointed in the mocha color scheme, which is our, I think, our most popular color scheme. Um, we also have sandcastle for this year, the two main colors, uh, mocha being the dark. Sandcastle is, is kind of a color that blends with the wood, a very light color. So the actual stock number that you're looking at, uh, if it's a few months from now, you may be looking at a unit that is sandcastle in co co color, and bear in mind this is mocha, so make sure that you uh, realize whatever unit you're looking at. You can look in our pictures and you'll be sure to know which color you've got. One nice little feature they've got now is they've got the cup holders that fold down in the armrest there, so that's really nice. And of course, this is really easy to convert into a sleeping area just like that. Um, now you've also got sleeping back here at your, um, at your dinette. You can convert this dinette. You drop the table, you pull it out of the pegs out here, you drop this down, you pull the cushions in, and you've got basically a twin size bed right there. So you could sleep easily up to four people in this, uh, in this uh, trailer. And possibly if it's a couple of kids, you might you know, fit an extra one, maybe five. We've got pleated shades, uh, same as the 2018s. We've got the pleated shades on this, which are a nice upgrade. Thermofoil countertops and tabletop. It's in a, a new uh, color for this year that looks very, very much like real marble. Um, it's a nice tan colored marble and looks really sharp. Um, so we come on over to the kitchen. Uh, we've got our Norcold double door refrigerator here. We've got a, an updated uh, uh, microwave for this year. It's a gray stone and it's just a bit more modern looking. It's a little more of a sleek design, kind of got a mirrored front on it. So it, it just, in general, these trailers look definitely like they're a more, a more modern look compared to last year. We've got our vent fan right here. And then the big upgrade for this year, again, is another Furion appliance. And they've got the, the three burner cooktop and oven from Furion. It's a glass top cooktop. You just fold it back like that. And you've got uh, three burners here. The, the actual burners are cast iron. It looks like cast iron in the center here. Uh, the grids on these are an upgrade over the previous brand that we had before and in most travel trailers. In general, this is just a very high quality feeling range. And a neat little feature is that they have blue LED lights behind the knobs. So it can act as kind of a night light or just a really cool looking little light. So I like that feature a lot. It gives it a very nice, you know, modern kind of look. We've got the stainless steel handle here. And one of the most innovative things that I've seen this year is we now have a window in the range. So you can actually look in on your food as it's cooking. And we have a light inside the oven. So it might sound like a very small thing if you're new to the camping world. But um, this is uh, kind of a neat thing. I've never actually, up until now, had a oven come in with a window in it and a light inside. So it's kind of a neat little upgrade. Down below are our fuses and our breakers. That's our, our in, uh, converter and charger down here. This is our um, CO2 and LP gas detector. Coming over here to the sink, we've got our recessed undermount sink with these custom sink covers. And we've got a really nice new style of faucet that is really, really cool. It's got a sprayer built into the, um, into the handle here so you can uh, switch between regular flow and sprayer. And it's on a neat spring design. I really like it. It's super cool looking and uh, really nice and functional as well. Um, we've got our mini blind back behind here. Plenty of counter space in here for a small trailer. 
uh, plus the uh, the glass top over here makes it a bit more usable not going to recommend this as a cutting board by any means but this is better than the metal covers that you see in a lot of the competition this glass is a lot more usable for laying things on maybe doing light prep work and stuff like that plus you've got the nice bar top here which could double as either a, a place to eat or a prep area and and stuff like that when you're cooking down below we've got our our three drawers uh, with an updated hardware on all of our cabinet very nice modern nickel finish hardware and all of the drawers in Catalina are are wood there's no press board in here at all this is all plywood and real wood and you've got nice ball bearing glides very high quality cabinetry especially for this price segment I would say in general all the cabinetry in the Catalinas is very high quality for this uh, price category. Is it the same as a half a million dollar luxury diesel pusher? No. I mean, it's not solid hardwood like you get in a very high-end coach, but this is, in no exaggeration, higher quality cabinetry than I have seen in a lot of motorized diesel and gas coaches that cost many, many times more than this. It's just they've done a really good job with the cabinetry. Very, very few problems or ever any customer complaints, warranty issues, or anything like that. I definitely think the cabinetry is one of the high points of the coach. Other little things that Coachman does that are kind of beneath the surface that you can't really see is underneath this vinyl, we have 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood, not OSB or chipboard. Uh, so if this ever does get wet, if it were to, uh, to leak, um, a 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood is not going to come apart and, and fall apart like OSB will. This is going to be much more durable uh, if you ever do have a problem. So uh, very, very big upgrade. One is one of the things that was integral to me making the choice to handle this brand uh, several years ago when we brought Catalina in is I just liked some of the construction stuff that I saw underneath the surface. One of the highlights of the 243 RBS is this big um, this big cabinet here, or pantry, it's really nice deep uh, drawers or cabinet uh, shelves here. So plenty of room for uh, whatever you might need to use for the kitchen. Uh, also, you could use maybe one side of this for a linen closet or something like that. Um, right here we've got our thermostat for our uh, air conditioner. I upgrade all of the air conditioners to the maximum that Coachman allows on any given floor plan. So on this one, the maximum upgrade is to a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. So this one does have the 15,000 BTU. And then usually on any other trailer, with very, very few exceptions, if they offer two ACs, I'll order two ACs. If, if it's a floor plan like this, there's no need for two ACs. So we just do the 15,000 BTU. Coming back here to the bathroom, one of the other features of this 243 that people love is that you have a nice big corner shower unit. This is a, a really big roomy uh, area, uh, even big tall folks. Uh, I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 uh, you can see I've got quite a bit of room above me, so even large and tall people can fit in here comfortably. And uh, the nice glass enclosure uh, with the radius doors is, is really nice high-end touch. Over here we have our Thetford uh, foot flush toilet. Over here you push the button and that flushes it. And then over here we have our vanity. We have a mirrored medicine cabinet up above and we have a small vanity below with some storage underneath. So that's pretty much the inside of this 243. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. Okay, we're going to go ahead and continue our tour here on the outside. Again, to refresh your memory, this is a new 2019 Coachman Catalina 243 RBS floor plan, and it's in the Legacy Edition. Uh, over here on the driver's side of the coach, we see that we've got our big slide out right here, which is the, the slide out that houses the dinette and the sofa. Uh, we've got our exterior platinum metal again for this year. It's uh, black at the bottom, charcoal, and a bright silver, a little more charcoal up at the top, and blue graphics. Uh, this year they've changed the graphics, gone for a more modern, uh, simplistic um, type of a, 
of a color of a, a stripe scheme as opposed to the swooshes and stuff that we had in the past. I just got back from Expo and Open House Week in Elkhart where you get to see all the new products for the coming year and uh, definitely one of the trends uh, going forward in the RV industry is the simplicity of design on the outsides. They're going for a very minimalistic type of a look in a lot of cases. So we've got a, a more simplified stripe package for this year uh, but still the same overall color which is the best colors I've ever seen for an RV, no joke. This silver and gray combination is so easy to keep clean compared to white or a pearl white or tan. It's just a joy to take care of. It does not show black streaks badly or any of that, anything like that. They look good even when they're dirty, and that's kind of what you're going for with RVs when you're trying to keep them looking good on a trip and with minimal maintenance. So... Uh, we've got our big pass-through storage bay on the 243. This goes all the way through to the other side right there. Uh, coming around to the front, we've got our, of course, our battery, and then we have our 20-pound LP gas cylinders. Now, I mentioned earlier that that's one of the few options I don't upgrade to, which is the 30-gallon uh, cylinders or 30-pound cylinders. I like the 20-pounders because they're versatile. Uh, if you run out in the middle of a camping trip, you can take one of these off and run over to your local Walmart or Home Depot or even pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens sometimes have an LP gas trade-out uh, deal outside the store. So it's very easy to get back on the go if you do run out of propane on the trip if you got the 20-pounders. So that's uh, uh, the reason we go with that. Up here on the front, we've got our power tongue jack. Um, those are really nice, nice labor saver, and if it ever did fail on you, I know some people don't like the idea of automated stuff because it's uh, maybe prone to failure, it's something that can break, but if you ever did have that go out, you've got a nice little uh, bolt right up here, and you can use the same crank that you use for your stabilizer jacks, and you can operate this manually uh, in a pinch. It's a little bit harder than a manual tongue jack, but it still gets the job done. We've got our radius front end, which is is all aluminum. Uh, it's very durable. You don't have to worry about a delamination bubbles like you do on, on laminated coaches and stuff like this. It's a really strong metal and holds up very well. Coming around to the side, there's the other side of that pass-through storage bay. We've got our power awning. Uh, just a, a, a touch of a button and you can deploy your awning uh, in and out. Uh, we've also got blue LED lights up under the awning and underneath the coach that's called the Starlight Package. So uh, it's really cool at night. There's a blue glow that comes out from underneath the trailer, plus the blue up under here gives it a really cool look. That all ties in with the blue graphics and it looks super sharp at night. Uh, really like that and even I noticed for this year the outdoor marine grade speakers for the stereo system even have little LED lights in the speakers so even the speakers glow now so that's really cool and one of the nicest options they've come out with for 19 is the Lippert um, uh, solid step this is a, uh, a nice solid step, unlike the type that you, you fold out, like the accordion style. This just folds right up in there like that, and then you, you close your, your door. It's really not only easy to deploy, but I cannot tell you how much more stable these steps are because you have the leg hitting my railroad tie there, but because you have the leg actually resting on the ground, and each one of these legs can be leveled out if you're on an uneven surface, but you, uh, you just got a, a super duper sturdy design. You can never do that with a regular step without bouncing the trailer all over the place and possibly even maybe bending the step. I'm bringing this on every single trailer if it's you know that it's available on I'm bringing that in I've just found that it's in my opinion it's a great upgrade so um, uh, that's a really nice feature uh, coming back from that we've got our cable hookup and electrical outlet here if you wanted to have an outdoor television uh, we've got our, our tires with nitrogen fill. They come from the factory with nitrogen fill, but it's, it's really, uh, on a travel trailer, quite a hassle to keep nitrogen in those, I think. I mean, if, uh, if you want it, it's in there, but um, I mostly recommend people just use regular air. Right here is your freshwater fill. 
Back here is our refrigerator panel. We've got our four stabilizer jacks all around each corner. And on the back, we've got our spare tire, which is an option. I make sure I bring that in. It's one of those things some dealers will delete because it saves a little bit of money, and a lot of times people don't notice it. But you really need a spare tire. If you ever have a blowout, you're going to wish you had it. Uh, we got an outdoor shower right here, our black tank flush, which is really nice. That's a sprayer that goes into your sewer tank and rinses it out for you so that you're able to keep that sewer tank nice and clean so that you don't get a buildup of crud and stuff in there that can start uh, giving you odor problems uh, over time. Uh, and they've color coded. You've got the black tank flush here. And because both of these are our normal water hose hookups, you got the black tank flush is coated black. The city water connection is white, just like your city water drinking hose. So it's not uh, it's 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 easy to keep that straight. Again, your outdoor shower, and then the other feature is we are pre-wired for the Furion backup camera system. We can install that for you, but it's also very easy to install yourself if you want one. It's a wireless system. You just plug and play the camera in there and then plug in your little wireless monitor in your truck and you're good to go. And uh, so that's pretty much uh, the whole 243 RBS. It's a really great floor plan. It's been one of our best sellers. I've sold this to good friends of mine. Uh, my own pastor bought this model and loved it. Uh, it's just been a really uh, popular floor plan. Easy to tow. They tow like a dream. And uh, they're just really uh, a good, good uh, choice. If you're looking for a nice entry trailer that you've never been into, you don't want something too big, but yet you don't want to be too cramped and, not be, un and be uncomfortable, this might be a good starting point if you don't need bunk beds. Uh, we do have bunk bed available uh, models available also. Um, if you'd like more information, please give us a call at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. You can also connect with us on our YouTube page. If you like this video and you want to see more, click the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that way you'll get notifications every time that we have a new video filmed. Um, it's a good way to keep up on inventory that we've gotten in stock. I'm trying to build right now um, a library of all of the new 2019 uh, Coachman Catalina models, so I'll have more of those coming soon, plus our used inventory. If you're looking at one of our pre-owned trades, we're going to point out not only the high points, but if there's a flaw in them, uh, whether it be motorized, towable, old, new, we're going to point out any flaws that we see as well. So we do those so people can do the comfort, do shopping in the comfort of their own home. So you can connect with us on YouTube, our website, www.highwayrv.com. We have a Facebook page, Highway RV's uh, Facebook page. We have links to those at our website. So I hope this video has been uh, informative to you. I know it's been a really long video, but I try to get into some of the, the, the nuts and bolts and the meat of, of what the Coachman Catalina is all about. So I hope it's been helpful to you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. You have a great day and God bless.